Mm. And I just woke up to my captain here telling me some very good news. And the good news is we have reached the middle of the Atlantic, the middle of the crossing. Wow, midpoint. Yes. That means that we may have, what, 10 more days to go, right? Perfect. Yeah. So I'll show you guys where we are, right in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Um, Semi-beautiful day today, but it's not shaking as much as anymore. Yes, it's good. We have Jenniker up and uh, we're moving along around eight, no uh, eight knots. So, all good. Gonna have breakfast now, but uh, before that I'll show you guys where we are here on the map. So as you can see, Africa right here. And uh, right on the other side, St. Thomas, US Virgin Islands which is our uh, final destination here on this crossing. <laughs> so we're doing wing on wing here, uh, Joy. Going very fast. Awesome. 10 knots, more or less. The problem is the waves are still hot, right? Still high, it's not that organized, so it kind of makes the... Uh, Sail flap a little bit. It's pretty good. Look. Yeah, and today is the day that we catch the most fish in one single day. <laughs> so what happened was we lost a 50 kilo swordfish <laughs> and we took our line away so now we're like redoing everything here on the fishing rod to see if we can catch it again 50 kilo minimum minimum yeah Dolphin. So, if you know no, the correct I, I pronunciation, I call it Dorado in English. Ow. If you know the correct pronunciation or the name of this fish that I'm gonna show you right now, you can put on the comments below. In English, Luis says that this fish is called Dolphin. Yeah, I like flipper. 
I think it's Mahi Mahi. But I don't know. So you know Whoa. better than both of us. So put in the comments below. And Mr. Captain Chef and now uh now what? Uh, fish cutter. We'll clean the fish. fisherman in the south portion of Brazil so he knows all about it. No, I Catching work on the, the McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, he works in McDonald's. Look at that. So what do you want to eat? I bet you today. <laughs> the sun is about to rise and uh, this is probably the most stars that I have ever seen in my life. I really wish you guys could see it. Uh, but unfortunately the cameras will pick that up. I will, I will show you the, the sunrise in a little bit. We're going into our 11th day uh, and uh, the winds have come down significantly. We have only 13, 14 knots of wind right now or even less, maybe 10. And we're moving along between 5 and 6 knots. <coughs> Sorry, with our Jennifer up. All right, enjoy the sunrise. And Marcos is like uh, doing his uh, house project of the day, <laughs> which is to fix the uh, outlets. So we can plug our outlets that are fitted for the United States and all the plugs here are European plugs. So um, he's an uh, electrical engineer and has all the abilities in the world as well as a very nice uh, toolbox. Uh, to make sure everything is fine and myself I'm doing a very important thing which is um, sunbathing here and it's a beautiful beautiful day out as you guys can see all right very good very good very good any special words to your fans I love you all right that's beautiful words yeah, Indeed. Man. I'm so happy to stay here crossing the Atlantic for the second time. Thank you, Joy. At 11.30 every day, we measure how many miles we have done uh, the previous 24 hours. We've been doing an average of uh, 150 nautical miles. We had days of 180 and we had days that we did 120, 130. Overall 150 nautical miles in this crossing. Pretty, pretty good. And I think we have about 10 more days, 9, 10 more days to go here. 